What's up, everybody? We are live. This is 1186 2024 Tops Heritage 12 box. Pick your team case break here as we close the shop. I'm working late. Here we go. I hope you guys are having a great evening. Hope you had a great day. We had a nice case of Heritage earlier. A few little different wrinkles here in the product this year so far that we found. Um, but hopefully this evening. We have some red ink for you guys. So sorry, this is a very heavy case of cards. If you were in the break this afternoon, that already shipped. So it is on the way to you, or if you're local, it's ready for pickup. And you can come pick it up whenever you want. So let me make some sense of this here. And then we'll get started. These two boxes flipped over in the last case. I wonder what that's about. Do, 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 do. Red ink coming this case. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can get these off the screen. That's as far as I can go with them for now, folks. Push them back. Push them back. So here we go. Here we are. I lose my monitors for a little bit. The store's cool. Well, there's a few folks still in here, but we're closed, basically. So I really don't need to see a whole lot. Uh, the Angels just sold in Sterling, so we're a heck of a lot closer. Um, having a big team like that gives me some flexibility to budge on, uh, I think, the Yankees. There's a, there's a few more big teams left in Sterling. That's the problem. The teams didn't sell in line with the, the like, money. So the Reds and the Yankees are still big, but now having one of the big three teams gone, I have a little more flexibility. I couldn't discount when we're 20 teams out because the discounts I would give to the big teams would be so laughable no one would care. And then on the flip side of all of that, someone actually bought a box of Sterling in the store today. I already posted the will he score of it. So... So, with that being said, uh, Sterling looks like it's going to happen here sooner than later. I'll, I'll assess in the morning what I can do to, to get it over to Hump. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm so excited for that. Last year's was amazing. We had that triple auto 101 of Mays, Griffey, and was it Jeter? I don't even remember. I have to go back and look. It's a redemption, but we did get to see that card. When Deck got it back, he sold it, though. It got sold. The Reds that... Yeah, it's Ellie, dude. It's Ellie. So, Brian, it's Ellie, and it's a fact that the money has to go somewhere. So, I did not get that product direct. I bought it from the Topps website, and then my sales tax exemption lapsed or something. Some nonsense. Where, literally, they didn't tax me until after the transaction. So, they're retroactively going to give me the tax money back i like resent them in my paperwork this is for my non-direct account so i had to buy it like i had to pay 11 or 1200 a box whatever it is it's expensive um i had to buy it. i had to buy it so i didn't get it i didn't get it at the price to breaker program people got it at and i know what that number is um so if i would have been fortunate enough to get it at that price we would have had it full already by now. Um, but I'm fighting an uphill battle. I have a huge issue with uh, selective choosing of who gets product. I mean, I understand it in the grand scheme of things. You want, you want high-end products to go to your biggest, your biggest followings with your biggest reaches and your biggest whatevers. But at the end of the day, I'm a baseball dude. I care about baseball. I don't care who's bigger or who's better. I don't care that all these companies hire people to break for them and so that the owners of the companies are so far removed from the hobby itself. Um, those types of companies that are good at business get these high-end baseball products, and that bothers me on a huge humanly level because I want to rip the best products with you guys at the best prices because we're all collectors here so it was either don't buy sterling 
and sit on the sidelines or when Tops made the opportunity available to buy the products from the website. You suck it up, you buy it, and you hope that your people follow suit and want to see it too. Because last year's last year's Sterling was so good, I couldn't I couldn't just sit idly by and not not do it. Um, at the price point, would it be better suited to toss in a mixer? Yeah, because that way at least whoever gets the two cards isn't going to lose in the mixer sense. But outside of that, listen, you can't. You can't just go away from something because you don't like it. So I'll buy it, I'll prove that I can sell it, and then maybe maybe we'll get the opportunity the next go around. Um, so I, I don't really have a good answer. But at the end of the day, Sterling would be cheaper if I would have gotten the opportunity to buy it. Um, but... But... I didn't, so I had to pay for it. And uh, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Um, we're going to get it full. Like I said, we I bought both cases that were available to me. We sold one of the boxes today. You'll probably see the other boxes in mixers unless people walk in the shop and buy it. I did have someone else ask to buy one online too, but it was too rich for their blood, and I understand. Um, I ripped the case to myself last year because I just, I really, really love Top Sterling. The look, everything about it. No base, high end, big hits, big, big risk essentially. I, that's me. I like it. Here we go, Heritage. Though we're at the complete opposite end of that spectrum. We're getting into a looking man's product here with the. Uh, I was gonna say the low numbers, but Leoti is the only uh, big number. Four oh seven, for the short print. Uh, the case this afternoon already shipped. Gabriel Moreno with a white border. Some good news. Got that Kobe kid graded back. Was that the dual relic? McCartan? Was that a... If that's the relic I'm thinking of, like early 2000s, that... You couldn't imagine. <laughs> I can't begin to explain to you that lot when it walked in the door. Yeah, that's wild. I am so happy that that card's a 10. Because that dude was a character. Carrie Carpenter. I remember the lot more than I remembered a specific card. The guy was very nice, but I was almost worried that it was, like, stolen up until, like, I dug into the lot. It was just, oh, it was a, it was a wild, a wild endeavor there. But, Heritage, we are on our second case today. I'm glad that card got a 10. We sent some things off that got a 10, too, from that, uh, we got a 2002 Topps Pristine. Ken Griffey Jr. refractor <laughs> that was still in the original pristine one touch that got a 10 somehow the case was like beyond recognition but we sent it out in the case just cause it was a Griffey refractor Griffey's my guy so um yeah I'm, I'm glad dude that's awesome Pete Crow there we go go Cubs go Pete Crow Armstrong to 9.99 for the Chicago Cubs with the Chrome action. He's not in the big leagues yet, but the Cubs have some talent coming through the pipeline, ladies and gentlemen. Talent, lots of talent. <laughs> Martin Maldonado to 75. The low number. I, I'm going to call them low numbers. Corbin Carroll will be our first clubhouse collection relic for the Diamondbacks. Um, there's a little confusion, so I have a guy. I have a customer. That has bought cases of heritage from me since the dawn of time. His name's, I literally call him Jimmy Heritage. Or Jimmy the Gem. He's a jeweler out in Chicago. Great dude. Good people. Uh, we usually link up. Instead, I shipped him a case. Uh, you know what I mean? He doesn't ask for any special favors or anything like that. He just buys a product to support what we're doing. I love it. Uh, good dude. But he messaged me on Twitter a little bit ago, I, I imagine, after the first case. And uh, was like, hey, dude. He's like, are the blacks still 50 and are the flip stocks still 5? I don't know the answer because nothing on the internet says. With the inclusion of the white border, the black border has pack odds but doesn't say if it has an assumed print run. I mean, we can assume as always, but I do not know the answer. Uh, I haven't had time to dig into it too much. Because we have these new Spencer Horwitz, the white border.
cards. The rookie ones I've been throwing in a top loader. We don't know how rare they are, but it does, uh, at least in terms of a breaking sense, break up the monotony of a break a little bit for Heritage. Because I enjoy Heritage, too, as a product. It just is not the most exciting breaking product. But for what this is, I love it. I love all the little intricacies and the details and spotting the errors and the variations and the things. That's what I like when I have time to sit down and rip a box to myself without the added pressure of, hey, we got to make the next sale or we got to make the next deal or we got to process stuff we bought today or whatever. I don't get a whole lot of B Rad enjoys the hobby time. So I try to enjoy it when we're doing the breaks. I mean, this is the best part of the job right here. Doing the open crap. I don't have Laura. I didn't even think about that. Laura cleared my whole desk this afternoon because she was shipping. <laughs> now I gotta stack this whole case on my desk properly. Buxton's facsimile is so faint on that card. There are missing facsimile cards in the set as well. Jacob Young. Just want to make sure we don't miss anything. Josiah Gray. Got uh. Jackson Holiday making his debut right now. I think Kyle's got that on in the store. Stott Altman. Sean Ewell. They retroactively ruined his streak. They took a hit away from him like six games, six days after the fact. So like mid-game. He was in the midst of an on-base streak and then all of a sudden he wasn't. Or something like that. Something along those lines. The A's, the the Angels announcer had a field day with that. Our next one is a 75 buyback of Ron Hodges. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. It was just two. That's like a all time low for me. So sorry about that. Usually once I start sneezing, see you tomorrow. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a while. But we move into box two of Heritage. We're looking for red ink tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Red ink. It's on the menu. Chester, what's up, brother? How are you? got me Steve heritage would definitely be the cards I would steal from you and I would I would definitely use uh, four cameras while I stole from you as well 100% the most transparent man in sports cards I'll even tell you how I'm gonna steal your cards oh uh, yeah absolutely <laughs> just just wait till you see the hang on I gotta blow my nose scam or the hang on what's in the empty box or the hang on I got this uh, Trevor Lawrence kaboom card to give away or this uh, Justin Fields redemption hiding in the box or someone's at the door a cooks to 99 how many of you even know cooks to 99 no we turned our back Chris there's no boogies anywhere I turned my whole back to you and I don't like turning my back to paying customers so don't think I was being disrespectful here I was just trying not to be rude and sneeze on your card. Uh, there's someone at the door. Oh yeah, that guy. That guy was bad too. That was the bad one because you could see his shadow. <laughs> that, that one. Was, that was one of the worst ones of the entire bunch. Got to pull the whole Brandon Cooks to ninety. I've pulled a Brandon Cooks to ninety nine in a break once, and it was probably the, one of the happiest days of my breaking career. And I don't even think half the break got it at the time. But yeah, I, I have pulled one numbered Brandon Cooks card to 99 in my life. And it was tremendous. <laughs> it was absolutely tremendous. Yeah, worry about what not, my friends. I've always considered starting a swear jar in the store, but for when people say what not or TikTok. Now, I would never knock another person's hustle. I hustled so hard as a breaker for the first three years. I literally worked 80 to 100 hours a week in a physically demanding job and still broke two to three cases a week. Sorted, packed, and shipped them all by myself, collected payments, etc. 
So I would never knock another man for grinding. But the new era of what not grind is hilarious and laughable. So. I love that it's a part of the hobby. I also hate that it's a part of the hobby. Because the whatnot literally will harbor your scammers. And if you, the customer, get scammed, instead of the business having to do the right thing, I've replaced card after card after card through my career of breaking simply because A, we made a mistake and sent it to the wrong person, which does happen from time to time, or B, the package got lost. I've only actually replaced a few cards. One card I even replaced for a guy who had it the entire time, but thought it, but never looked in the basketball section of his package because he thought that the basketball and baseball were completely separate. But when we sh ship you a package, we're shipping it how it's best settled in here. Jordan Wicks, go Cubs, go. What a hit. I love it. Jimmy to Jim. Jordan Wicks autograph. Let's go. Nice. Autograph number one. I forget what I was talking about. I was so excited about Jordan Wicks on him there. So I'll just keep flipping through these cards until I remember. It'll come back to me. Uh, Felix Bautista. Barrios. Casey Schmidt. Westberg. We got a Westberg auto earlier. We have some Chrome now. Kyle Tucker. To 575 for the Houston Astros. The refractor. Houston going to Mr. Daniel. Congratulations, sir. They should make a whole chrome heritage set with this design. Just because of all the colors. The 75 look, you know. Very colorful. Just do a, do a chrome set. There's a mini set, I believe, coming for this in a few weeks. But, I mean, there's already chrome in the heritage set. If you just did, like... Three four hundred card heritage chrome. It's all crazy colored refractors. Could be fun. Grisham Webb Martinez Dick Williams Lane Thomas. We have a white border Joe Kelly. And we don't know, and that's the other thing I was talking about earlier with the black borders being traditionally a print run of 50, even though they're not numbered. And then the flip stocks being five, also not numbered. The white borders, we have, I have no idea about the white border cards. They're new to me. They are new to me. And again, I think it just had pack odds. It doesn't really tell you a whole lot about print runs. Lance Lynn, Ian Hat, Luis Robert, he's out. Moncada's out. The whole White Sox offense is out. Mackenzie Gore, I think Moncada, they said three to six. I want to say months. Is that right? Could be weeks, maybe months. Justin Steele. Ooh, getting the good Cubs cards early. Justin Steele with a white border. The black border, I think we. it could very well still be 50 because I think we only had two in the first case. Kevin Newman, but I do not know for certain. And once again, that's why we ship all the cards. Ship everything, just in case. We're humans. We make mistakes. My sorter is not a sports card person. She's good at packing and shipping packages. She doesn't know who plays for what. She goes by logos and team names. And if that's not available to her, then Kyle or I are figuring things out for her. Uh, Mike Jorgensen, the long-lost Montreal Expos. That'll go to the Nationals, of course. Sorry. Sorry, camera. We move on to the box number three, I believe. These packs are not wanting to stack. Corbin Carroll Relic. I think he hit his first home run of the year last night. And then Jordan Wicks for the Cubs. In autograph form. We move on into box number three. 
see what we can get. I saw somewhere, I saw a picture somewhere. And there was, they like opened a whole box of flip stocks or, or like in the box there was like a bazillion flip stocks. That's insane. I hope we find something like that. Especially if we can find confirmation that flip stocks are number to five. Tops posted on Twitter yesterday about the magic boxes in big league. I mean, I like that. This stuff's fun. There's still hidden gems in here in Heritage. We need to find a hidden gem. I think we found Hank Aaron last year. I mean, those gems are hidden. And we're off box number three. Try to keep the action moving here. Dominguez, of course. Uvalde, Otani. Juan Yepes. We still don't, I still don't know what happened to him. He had a pretty good rookie campaign on a Cardinals team that made the playoffs. Gavin Williams, rookie auto for the Guardians. Our second auto here in three boxes. I like the way this is starting. But every time I get a hit, I lose my train of thought. Oh, Yepes. He's, I see him. Uh, but Yepes made the playoffs with the Cardinals his rookie year. Homered in a wild card game. Like, he he, pro he produced. And then he just back to the minor leagues, never to be heard from again. And the Cardinals are not good. So, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Lawrence Butler. A white-bordered rookie card. For the Athletics. Who can't wait to see Aaron Judge hit home runs in their 15,000 seat stadium. If they fill the entire outfield brim, berm area. Otherwise it's a 10,000 seat stadium for them to watch Aaron Judge hit bombs out of. John Fisher said that, not, not me. He can't wait to watch other teams rock his pitchers into oblivion in a tiny park. What a just wow. Uh, Edward Julian. I don't, <laughs> I don't have words for that. No words to be had. We have Whit Merrifield. World Series Game 5. Kirstown. He's got a bazillion RBIs in AAA. But Holiday's the one they called up. You know what I mean? It's all about hype, baby. Performance need not apply. Harrison Joseph Bader. But Jackson, I mean, he, I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. Please do not get me misconstrued. The Norfolk Tides are just the most loaded AAA team of recent memory. Just absolutely loaded. Mackenzie Gore for the Nationals. Jerry Ruiz. More A's humor. This guy gets sent down after ripping the cover off the ball. Hey, thanks for all your hard work. Go play in front of more fans down at AAA. Oakland is just... I'm sorry, Oakland fans. Do you guys still exist? If Oakland... I think I said this on a podcast not too long ago. If Oakland fans want to leave their fandom in Oakland behind... You guys are more than welcome to join any team's fan base. Any team. Without any ribs or digs or shots or any of that. It has to... I almost am there with the White Sox, too. Just because of where I live and what I see. It's so sad to be a White Sox fan. Like, White Sox fans have always historically been happier... And mind you, historically, I mean my entire 30-plus years of life, not just from 2016 to present. But no 2024 stats. That's wild. So he, he must have got out of his deal somehow. That's good for him, but hopefully he gets a shot because he seemed to be decent, at least batter. Um, I read the chat and I lost my thought there. Fujinami. 
Tanner beat me. Matt, what was I what was I rambling about, dude? I was on a roll too. I don't know what it was. I was rolling though. Chris Bassett, Tristan Cassis. We move on to box number four. We have John Hiller, Tigers. Yeah, they're so bad. They're so bad, so are the A's, though. But, oh, yeah, yeah, what I was saying is the White Sox fans, even before the Cubs won the World Series, the White Sox fans have always, and I'm talking about the ones that live here 30 minutes from the park, the White Sox fans have always been happier when the Cubs lose on any given day, even if the White Sox win that day. That's a fact. White Sox fans will be the first ones to tell you when the Cubs lose, even if their own team is 72 games under 500. But now their team and their organization, and we're going back to the La Russa hire and subsequent medical retirement and all the injuries and lack of, like they jumped the gun so hard on their rebuild. And I said it back then too, and I would love to dig that quote up just for the sake of saying I told you so. When they signed the uh, uh, Keuchel and the uh, catcher, but they signed those dudes like way too soon, two years too early, and uh, now that franchise is in such disarray. Their three best offensive players are all out now for amounts of time. Their medical staff has never figured out how to fix these pieces of glass that work in their organization. And I just, if the White Sox fans want to not be White Sox fans anymore, I'm almost going to let you go away without saying anything. But it's, it's almost sad right now. Sox are two weeks into the baseball season, and they have no reason to watch a game anymore. There's no reason for a White Sox fan or an Athletics fan, or really just mostly those two teams, to watch watch baseball right now. Why? Why would they even want to watch baseball? White Sox don't have anyone to put on the field. They have Andrew Vaughn, and uh, Garrett Crochet has been phenomenal to start the year. But they continue to gut that team since it didn't perform when it wasn't ready to perform when the, the Twins bounced them out of the playoffs. They did make the playoffs not too long ago, but that's only because they jumped a gun. They spent their money before they were... They spent the money because I think they thought they were going to get some veteran deals, but they signed guys that were too old to make a difference by the time the young guys were ready. And everyone's hurt all the time over there. I don't know how those dudes do, get hurt as much as they do. Loved them when Big Hurt was... I mean, ballpark Franks, dude. They plump when you cook them. I can dig it, too. But, yeah, I, I just... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> like, who's running that organization? I think they're winning tonight, though. They were up by a lot over Cleveland. But Cleveland is also the same guy that wouldn't pay... Lindor had said nobody's worth $300 million. That's the Cleveland owner. So that's what the AL Central's competition level looks like. Teams that don't want to have superstars. That's what they, the AL Central has just been a punching bag forever. Ugh. Anyhow. We got a lot of time to talk about a lot of things. Kyle Finnegan for the Nationals. And I'm really hungry, and it's way past dinner time. So I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get real, real hangry by the end of this one. Cleveland tied it up at five. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds about right. I shouldn't laugh though. The Cubs blew an 8-0 lead the other day and lost. They they were losing when we went live. Brennan Rogers, after they tied it up. Michael Bush, thank you, Dodgers. What do we have here? Wow, a flip. The first. Flipped over relic I've discovered. Josh 
low. The Tampa Bay Rays, Mark Gillen. Congratulations, game used. Clubhouse relic, clubhouse collection relic. Uh, Mejia for the Rays. Former Padre. I have a one on one of him from Triple Thread somewhere. If Chester's still watching, he knows exactly what the card is. Miguel Amaya with the white border for the Cubs. Evan Carter. Paredes. Hunter Green. He's got the dollar sign facsimile auto here. He stopped signing with that. Sorry, that was just a quick... Caught my eye. Because I'm pretty sure he stopped signing with the dollar sign. Kyle, are you leaving? Is that why you're hovering in the door? You have a great night, pal. We'll see you here again tomorrow where we sell another box of 2024 Top Sterling Baseball to a customer we told probably just buy a single. In a break, I wouldn't tell you that. But in a store, I'm honest. In a break, the price points are different than selling boxes outright. When we're talking about selling boxes outright, I am going to talk a customer through every possible different way it could go hey you could spend thirteen hundred dollars on this or you could spend thirteen hundred dollars on this because you're in my store so if you want to spend some money and you're talking about big boxes i want to show you all the options you can pull this box or you can open this box and you can get this this or that and a lot of it's not going to get you where you want to go and some of it's going to get you more than you ever could imagine or you know what i mean you could do the the guaranteed route and grab something that you like and for that type of money you can get some amazing cards for your collection no pressure i feel no pressure at all steve i don't know if you know this but absolutely no pressure whatsoever burt blylevin like uh uh cold-blooded is that is that what we're going with that's what i'm going with yeah, there's no pressure here, dude. The pressure is to sell the product. Once you sell it, but this is my fun time. It might be your nervous time because you want a sweet win or a new bar. But for me, I control the things I can control. What are those things? Hey, how fun the break is. Like, you might not get a hit, but you are probably going to learn something about baseball or get some knowledge about the hobby or something like that. And then uh the other side of it is the service so we have good service you know and uh if if there's pressure on my pools then i'm you know what i mean you're probably not gonna do business with me anyway and i, I know we're not i know this isn't a serious conversation right now but like that's that's seriously how i look at it like there's people that will literally come in buy into a break or two and then leave and be like you're bad luck or whatever like, if, like, yeah, but how was all the other things? Like, oh, you're great. You shipped fast. I got my cards faster, and I got them from you from anywhere else, but that guy pulls me cards. I don't care if I get them in a month. Okay, so be it. I'm not fighting for your business. We'll just treat people the right way around here. And that works. So. Sweet win or newt bar? It might happen. We pulled, actually, a sweet win out of big league. <laughs> I think we pulled a win auto to 25. In the first case of Big League, we did. So it could happen, 100%. <laughs> I just want to see some red ink tonight. That's what I get out of staying late. Hopefully some of you guys get some beautiful cards for your collection. And uh, hopefully <laughs> I get to say I pulled some red ink. The only pressure is don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't let anybody be at the door. Um, don't put glares on people's faces like that. Sorry about that. Thoughts on the new Jojo Jojo Siwa song? That's funny you say that because uh, my kid 
for about six minutes really loved Jojo Siwa. Uh, there's some song about a boomerang I, I heard probably 1500 times straight on a loop. Um, I don't know what other songs she has, so I don't know. Good question. I don't have an answer. She's past Jojo Siwa. She got a, she basically got the equivalent of an iPod. You know, I don't know, I don't know what you give kids nowadays. My daughter does have a, a phone watch, but that's because she's not very responsible. Um, but for her, she loves music. She's got ADD. You know, I, we're, having her has taught me like I gotta have the craziest ADHD you've ever imagined. But I just don't go to the doctor, so I just deal with it. Uh, but she really likes music, which makes sense because I really like music. Um, she doesn't like, we don't like the same music, but we got her like, uh, like the equivalent of an iPod. It's basically like a little mini tablet. I mean, it's tiny. It's like the size of an iPod, but it only has like a select few apps and we have like the Spotify family plan. So she's on there and she just listens to her music, you know, but no Jojo Siwa lately. It's all Taylor Swift, dude. She's a full-blown Swifty at eight. Just, I can't do it. <laughs> Gary Sanchez. So she's eight now. Last year, I took her to a Trivium concert for her seventh birthday. She wanted to go. So I was going, and I got her a ticket. We had a great time. Sat up on the balcony. We got there early enough. I got a little seat for her to sit on, like, a bar rail of the balcony. And I uh, just, you know, she fell asleep. By the time Trivium came on, it was great. But then for this year, Mom took her to a Taylor Swift like uh, cover lady for her birthday. She had a bunch of fun, all of that. Uh, yeah, I'll just talk about my kids until you guys have a new topic because uh, I like my family. Uh, <laughs> Rowdy Telez, that win out of the 25 you pulled for me, had to check. There we go. I thought I thought it was number to 25. Congrats, dude. Yeah, Mike McCartan. He's a Philly guy anyway. But yes, he confirmed the win pool. But yeah, then the news, like the, the Magic Box news from Tops came out. Like, <laughs> that's fun. That's fun. Savali for the Rays. My ear itches. If you guys cared to know. Vito, Grissom, Solaire. Frederick Altuve, Jordan Hicks with the low number. Josiah Gray with the white border. I feel like I'm missing the missing facsimile from time to time. Do the double take Duran. Puck, Smith, Shaver, Kalnick, Garrett Wilson, Tyler Stevenson blowing a bubble. Coco Montes, white border for the Rockies. Rookie card. Corbin, New Age Performers. Kodai. He's going to be a low number with the cup. Evan Carter. Emerson. Soderstrom. The Shea. Shea hit like three home runs the other night. Oakland former Braves top pick put the rookie whites in the top loader I don't like again I don't know how rare they are rare they are top loader is no good nobody gets a bad top loader around here it's not what we do moving on box number six which product had the bazooka bag oh Henry I didn't even see that brother Sorry, dude. Gypsy Queen. Gypsy Queen had the bazooka backs, dude. I miss Gypsy Queen already. They they retired it. They put it on the shelf for 20. It didn't come out last year in 2023, so 22 is the last year of Gypsy Queen. Uh, they 
they, they, I don't know if we'll ever see it again, and I don't know when we'll ever see it again. I don't know how to, to talk about it. They just said they, they're putting it on the shelf. Same thing with, like, Gold Label. I don't think we had Triple Threads last year. But Gold Label, they, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure they said something about they wanted to continue to, they didn't want to devalue the gold frame, basically. And Gold Label was, like, a more entry-level product. And then you have, like, Museum and Transcendent and other products that use that gold metal frame pretty predominantly. So, there's that. But yeah, definitely, definitely Gypsy Queen with the Bazooka Banks. You have double and triple variations on some G Gypsy Queen. Again, much like Heritage, Gypsy Queen was one of my, one of my nerd out products. Give me a case of that, leave me alone. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a week. I get it all tuned in. Black and whites in that it was gorgeous. I'm having a problem with my cables tonight. They're unhinged down there. We are grinding open box number six so we can see what's in store. Just two autos through the first five, I believe. I'm not, so, I get it with Ginter. I'm not a Ginter guy. Ginter's where I draw the line because I'm a baseball guy. So, I'm not, the more I'm into cards, though, the more I do, like, oddball stuff. So, I, I get Ginter, and Ginter's a great personal rip. Like, we've sold a ton of Ginter in the store from last year and the previous years. But Ginter's just not my jam. I'd, out of Ginter... Gypsy Queen and Heritage, I'm going Gypsy Queen, personally. But that's what's beautiful about the hobby. You get whatever you like. You collect whatever you like. There's there's so many options. There's so many things available to you. If you like a certain thing and you can afford whatever it is, go nuts. <laughs> redemption, huh? It's interesting. It's an interesting redemption you got there. So here's definitely a variation. So I know we don't catch the variations live. This is a black and white, and it does say so. And that's why we ship all the cards. So, like, there's plenty of variations we're probably missing because we're flying through and they don't jump out. But 100% Cleveland says B&W above the number. So it is still indicated above the number. Back in, like, 18, I don't even think... I think it was sometime in 19, maybe 19 high number is when they actually started putting the indicator on the back. Because before you used to just have to see it or check the code. And then like a uh, card heavy product like Archives, they wouldn't even have a code change. You would literally have to visually see the error or the variation or you didn't know you had it. Oh, Black Chrome, Zach Geloff, 10 of 75, Oakland. Beautiful. Take that, Terry. Take that, Terry. Athletics Black Chrome Refractor. To 75. Very nice. Santander. And I don't know the odds on any of the variations off the top of my head to know how many we should even sort of roughly expect on a uh, per case basis here. We have another relic. This one's going to go to Kansas City, Rona, Salvador, Perez. Heritage high number. Someone pulled the 101 Riley Green rookie relic clubhouse collection in the shop. That was cool. 
torque because that's something you really just don't expect. You know, a guy just wanted to rip a heritage box because he wanted all the cards so he could build a set. Blam! He's like, hey, dude. <laughs> like, what? He's like, is this good? <laughs> like, yeah, dude, that's real good. Congratulations. John Gray. Frederick with a white border for the Dodgers. Nick Pavetta for the Red Sox. Delay Romano Olsen Pasquantino. McNeil say uh, JP Crawford. I saw someone took a sticker off of Phillies Crawford auto and stuck it onto a Mariners card today with a heat gun. <laughs> People, man. You can do just about anything you want in the hobby. <laughs> no one's going to kick up any fuss over J.P. Crawford. David Bednar. White border. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying. People have fun. Like, that guy was having fun when he did it, I'm sure. Zach Gallen. And that'll do it for half a case of Heritage. So we are two autos deep. We'll make another adjustment here quickly. So like I said, I gotta maximize the table space. You selling? The Cardinals people have found you, Mike. You've been found, buddy. They want to know. Here we go, box number seven. We have another buyback. It looks like Bill Travers. But his signature says Billy. Billy Travers. I hope there's... We Travers into some... Red ink. Excuse me. Here we go. Box number seven. Time to kick it off here. What do we have? What are we going to get? What are we going to see? I hope something beautiful. First up, Mitch Garver. Just really staring at the facsimiles. I know we're moving quick. I just know that that's the one thing I can look for. But like I say, guys, I'm, I'm going to tell you a bunch of times a break. Connor Joe, check all your cards when you get them. We're shipping everything. Check them all. Check the back. I can now confirm to you that the variation is listed on the number. The one we found, it was listed right above the number. I'm not saying they all will be, but the black and white one was, but that was the easiest one I've seen. I mean, I obviously spotted it. Jose Tana Guardian, second auto of the break. That's wild. Sammy Salabura. 
hitting two autos for one team in a heritage break is kind of crazy. Con congratulations to Cleveland. Their second one. Their second one, but that's our third already. We only had three in the last case. I have a hard time thinking we're going to go five unanswered. Ryan McMahon. So that just leaves us plenty of time to get to this red ink. The red ink, baby. I think three red inks. The most I've ever, the most I've ever seen in the case. Sorry, one day I'll update my chair. This chair is older than this business. My nice chair sitting in my office. I never sit in anymore. At the house, I go down there like twice a month to pay bills. I go to my basement more to drive my racing simulator than anything else. Pablo Lopez. Probably going to get a few laps on the simulator tonight. So by the time I get home, the kids will probably be in bed. Mackenzie Gore with the white border. I just like to go fast. <laughs> Baseball Extra. You guys can read all about it. 70 of Steel. Conia Jr. Mauricio. Albies, Lopez, Cattell, Marte, DeLuca, J-Rod, we have Dave Bednar again, I know we've already seen him once, is that, it is, I don't know if it bothers you guys, but if I can see anything in that camera frame, like, oh, I don't want people to think I'm obstructing their view. We've already had one wild accusation of sneezing cards right off the t table this evening. Owen White to 375 for the Rangers. So we definitely can't can't be obstructing views now at this point. Going to get accused of glaring you guys to death with the light. Haha, <laughs> he, he shined the light in our eyes and then he stole our card. Morrell with the white border. Brandon Hag, what's up, dude? How you doing, buddy? Freddy Peralta. Kikuchi. Gresham. Gonsolin. Mead. Stop. Strider. Candelario. Tucson. Crow. Armstrong. Priester. And Corey Seager. We're down to five. Looking for that good red ink. Not too many toppers. I think we only have one big topper, which is cool because they're a nuisance to ship. Jim Spencer for the Rangers with the buyback. So now the last four boxes are all going to have those big toppers in them. Really, just with the box sizes we use, the topper box, or the topper forces us into a bigger box, like our most volume sized box for breaks. Get like a smaller, flatter box, a bigger, flatter box. Just adjust. Work 4 a.m. Work, oh, dude, I get it. You start at four, you gotta get up at four. Ugh, I don't miss them those days. I work two different jobs during my time in the Boilermakers in different time zones while I was living at home. It was my first job and one of my last jobs. My first six months was a 710s job that was an hour and away from my house. I was putting like, I put like 30 something thousand miles on my car in six months. In six months. <laughs> that, was a, that was my first job in the trade. That was my first time making money as an adult and I was only making like I was making 70% of scale at the time it's like 21 an hour I think and then it was like 23 because I worked the night shift and it was like 5 at night to 3 in the morning our time which was like 6 to 4 their time oh it was such a goofy schedule no time off spend basically 3 hours in the car every day 
And then one of my last jobs was only an hour away. It was only an hour away, but uh, they started. I worked night shift there. The night shift was earlier, so it was actually super cool. We got off at like 2 in the morning, their time, which was 1 our time. Really wasn't that bad, but the day shift was way better. But we had to get up at, I'd get up at like 3.30 to drive out there and get there in time. Corey Jolks. That schedule wasn't as bad, though, but it was just tons of driving. Tons of, I would listen to brakes. I wouldn't even watch the brakes. I would buy into brakes and then listen to them in the car. Because I would buy them. I wouldn't get to watch them live because I'd be asleep. And then I would listen to my dude skunk me every morning. Every morning on the way to work. So don't think that I'm doing you guys dirty. Because <laughs> it happens. Justin Verlander for the Astros with a clubhouse collection relic. Oh boy. I feel like I'm being set up right now. Mr. Daniel, if you need any help with uh, damage claims and or replacement, please let me know help you the best I can but this one's it's messed up and this is a kind of awkward situation to be in congrats on your hit Weiler Abreu I'll leave that between us nobody else needs to know that Robert Hayes Spees Ben Joyce Riley Adams as we move on Patrick Sandoval Dansby, Swanson, Vaughn Grissom, Ruiz, Lindor, Carter, Ward, Garrett, and Wilson. Lofton, Reynolds, Lazardo, Naylor, Quan Green, Larnack, Scooball, Freed, Bassett, Dominguez, and Patino. Henry Davis, Herzog, Bobby Witt, Jarvis, Sable, Miller, Baez, Mike. Goal Rucker, former Cubs legend, by the way. I owe a lot. I owe a lot professionally to Michael Rucker. So, Ruck, he's with the Phillies. He's rehabbing a finger injury. Doesn't even get a rookie card. But, but Ruck, dude, what a what a good human. Oh, a top-notch guy. Can't say enough good things about him. Uh, just just tremendous. So, Ruck, wherever he, we, we did a break together. He, he struck out Tatis on two pitches. Great story. Super good dude. Uh, go Cubs go, though. Candelario to nine ninety nine with the Reds. And uh, Colton Kowser for the Orioles. Excuse me, sorry. Rock stuck his neck out for me. Put in the good word with the Cubs that we weren't weird people. And then we went and rocked Cubs con. Absolutely rocked the place. So that was awesome. Nick Madrigal for the Cubs with the white border. And then shortly thereafter, they traded them to the Phillies. Nolan Arenado for the Cardinals. Daniel Wall. I go home every 28 days midweek. And I'm not getting two short checks. Yeah, that yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, salary sucks, dude. I get it. I've never uh the only salary jobs I've ever been offered I turned down. Nick Allen. I mean salary's cool if they don't make you work a thousand hours a week, but like uh my store manager, he was a salaried chef, which is you know, we know chefs aren't making a ton of money, but he's an actual trained chef good at cooking food. And he told me, he's like, dude, my line cooks were making more money than me when you broke it down to, like, hourly. I'm like, yeah, that sucks, dude. So, oh. But, yeah, this, but, like, shouldn't you get, like, paid time off? Like, 
I've only ever done like part time union work where every job has an end date, and even if you get on steady with a company, you still don't get like when I work. I worked maintenance for a company for a few years, and basically all that meant is if something blew up in the steel mill in the middle of the night, my phone would start ringing, and if I didn't answer it, I'd get I'd get the cold shoulder until they got over it. But with that said, like, I've never had paid vacation or paid time off or any of that. It's like, oh, you were union with benefits and this and that. Like, yeah, I had great benefits, but I had to work and all that. Like, if we didn't work, if we didn't show up, if we called off, whatever it was, like, there was no time off. We didn't get paid to not be there. You were there and got paid or you weren't and you didn't. And that's that's how things went during COVID. And I was the steward for, you know, the middleman between the men and the company. And, oh, my gosh. People were trying to milk it, being sick because they knew they were going to get sent home and then they weren't allowed to come back because nobody knew what was wrong with them. Ugh. And then I'm the one telling them they're not getting paid. And well. Sorry, that was a total, it sounded like someone was at the door scenario. That sounds like retirement, Mike. Unlimited vacation. I'm going to get one of those. I just try to go on vacation with my family every year now. I think we're going to go to Texas this year. But that's because a concert I really want to go see is happening in Texas. One of my best friends from high school. So playing a trip around doing something like that. Zero days. I don't get any days off. I must have unlimited vacation too. I think this is our hot box, folks. We have four boxes remaining, including the one we're opening right now. Pretty confident. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I poke fun at that McCartan whenever I can uh, about the whole United States thing and all the varying. I know that the states have more power than the federal government and the states can choose and this and that, but yeah, there's there's some laws and regulations and things that are absolutely insane to me that make no sense if we are truly united as people. Hold on, someone's at the door. Let me take some of your base cards. That's right. The hot box is here. I gotta have it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I hope everyone knows I'm kidding. Because I didn't start. I didn't start it. But I'll finish it when I have all your purple chromes. Just kidding. I would never backyard brakes, you guys. Ever. I would never bleach your brakes, you guys. I would never... Uh, I don't even remember to someone's at the door brakes because they're not even relevant. I would never platinum break, you guys. I would just never rip you off. And even though ripping you off would get me famous and more business, I'm not here to do that. Samad Taylor. But I am here to give you Aloy Jimenez. Aloy for Mr. Terry Jones because he's out until further notice. Tremendous bat. The dude can hit. He's never healthy. Correa. Read Detmers as we get into the purples. Non-numbered, but you get a purple chrome in every pack. Manny Machado. Luis Garcia, C.J. Abrams, Alex Spees with the white border rookie, Joey Votto. We also have a purple Otani. What's going on with him? Henry, you still here? <laughs> Rokio. Henry wasn't having any any gambling investigation talk earlier. So they're already done. Matt McClain. The, the Loy card's already broken. Well, the problem is the Loy card's not broken. The Astros card's broken. Hi, Henry. <laughs> What's up, brother? Good evening. Kyle Gibson. What's for dinner on the West Coast, dude? I'm hungry. Duran, Jordan Walker, 
Soderstrom with a purple rookie. I think that's the first rookie. There we go. Dominguez, hot box, purple. Kimbrell, Taiwan Walker, Ceviche. Never had it, Henry. I don't do onions. Like, heavily do not do onions. I can cook with them and take them out. I can onion, salt, onion powder. I cannot physically eat the onion. I don't care if it's cooked down. I don't care if it's raw. I don't care. I just don't care. My teeth and tongue and sensory things do not onion. I really don't like garlic a whole lot either, but I know the difference. For whatever minimal difference it is, it's pretty wild. But I know that onion's pretty heavy in the ceviche, yeah? Oh, and white, rookie. So for those reasons, just I haven't had it. Shane McClanahan, so I'm sorry. Gary Sanchez. Volpe. Drew Waters, longtime Braves prospect. Now a Kansas City Royal veteran. Acuna with the purple chrome. Julio for Seattle. Hicks and Arise. Counselor for the Orioles. Rizzo. Kodai. I know we've seen Kodai. Mount Castle's heating up something. He's always doing something. Ozzy Aldi's. Bautista. Dean Kramer. And Nick Gonzalez. We'll conclude matters in the hot box. We're down to three boxes remaining. My head is killing me. Time out. We're taking a medical timeout. We need the excedrins, folks. It's really late to be doing all this caffeine, but I tried the liquid IV and hydration route today for the headache, and it's just not going away, so. The last thing I want to do is walk out of here and have my head pounding still. I would rather it be pounding because we found a bunch of big hits and everybody got excited. So let's do that. Let's go that route. If you guys want to go that route, I'm, I'm, I'm there for it. Big topper. George Brett. Oh, yeah, you've never. I invented the headache slide a banger off the table, dude. Invented it. No one even does it better than me. In fact, you're the first person to ever notice it. And you have no many idea how many bangers have slid off the table. Just all of them. Uh, it doesn't appear to be that way, Mr. Matt. You know why? Because toppers are big and bulky. Matt, what are you going to do with that topper? It's curious. Curiosity. Does anyone display toppers? Gypsy Queen Glassworks Toppers 2018.
Placed a couple basketball orders that le that are legit. I'm here for bricks. Yeah, the ones we already did last weekend. The Don Russ boxes we opened? I'm confused, dude. This is break number 1186 2024 top series. That's what we're doing right now, and then I'm going home. We are an hour and seven minutes past closing time of the store. And I'm here every day about two hours before we open to the public. But I don't see anything as far as new on my end. Nothing. I did have someone call and I'm pretty sure they were trying to scam me yesterday. Luckily my credit card processor banned their card instantly. As soon as I said the word VPN, they're like, oh, we'll call you back. I'm like, oh, I know what you're doing now. You guys told me too much. And Stripe shows me a lot, so. Evan Carter to nine ninety nine. Somebody tried to buy a Spectra box and something else really expensive. And then when the card got declined. And, and then the weird thing was, like, their phone was, like, I couldn't hear them at all. So, like, that that had me confused right away. Evan Carter to nine ninety nine. What's a base Otani go for, Henry? Anything? Just being in the Dodgers uniform? You guys getting that Dodgers tax on Otani heritage? Excuse me, heritage cards? Got the headache so bad, I got the hiccups and stuff. There is a Giancarlo Black Parallel 400th home run. So we can only assume that these are a print run of 50. There's nothing uh, there's nothing set in stone on any website I've read today that says they are back as a print run of 50. Just say Black Parallel and have the, the order or the pack odds. Chris, what's up, brother? How are you? My head is killing me, dude. But thanks for wrapping this thing up so we can do this tonight. We can start tomorrow morning with a fresh case. Hopefully wrap up those other breaks. We got a big push on Sterling today with the Angels selling. And then uh, what else did we have? Chrome updates coming along. We'll figure out how we can wrap that up tomorrow. Because I want to pull a pro debut patch auto, an MLB debut patch auto. Those are the coolest things ever. Jackson Holiday's wearing his tonight. Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. Game used memorabilia. Base is four dollars. That's wild. Maybe twenty-seven fifty before too long. Henry, sell those base cards for four dollars, brother. I know you don't sell. Sell them now. Buy them back. I need to get better at that. Honestly, I should have sold all my Bedard stuff. Bought it back. But I didn't. Just happy to pull it. Jose Tena, white border. We got his autograph earlier as well. Kimbrel and the wall. Do 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 do. Ian Hap Abrams, Ben and Tendi Wells, Cortez Triolo, Rocchio, Sean Murphy and Jacob Lopez. Chris, how'd baseball go with the boy, dude? What's up? Can't just say one thing and then not say anything else. Nolan Jones for the Rockies white border. A Rose Arena rakes all night, day, year. Down to two. Want the red ink. I mean, I, it's not the most unreasonable goal. I didn't even ask for a particular person or anything. The lights shut off. You better turn them things back on. It's paying the bills are down there. 
Don't tell me you guys are as bad as Texas with the uh, energy grid, huh? Has run out of electricity down there or something? What's going on? Frank Tepidino. Frank Tepidino. I am not too familiar with my 1975 rosters. Just, just saying. Full transparency. Yeah, only on the West Coast, Henry. You bring me a Dodgers PSA 10, anything over here, we're going to laugh. But yeah, no, I get it. It is 100% it is a, a real thing. The West Coast is just like a whole other planet. Luis Robert PSA 10 rookies don't even sell for more than what it costs to grade them. And he's tremendous. He's just broken. That's awesome, dude. What an what an opportunity, you know what I mean? To get to learn the game from a dude who's been there, done that. I got some minor instructions from a big leaguer, Larry Bigby, when I was in high school. He was like kind of using our field house, I think. I just I thought that was the coolest thing ever because he'd been to the majors. I am not breaking anything after this. If you want to do personal boxes, I made a post earlier. We're doing everything on Saturday. Saturday night will be a personal rip night starting at 5 p.m. Central, 6 Eastern time. Like I said, seven minutes ago, we're now an hour and 14 minutes past when I close the store and go home. So I have to go see my family now. I love you guys. But I'm here a lot. I'm here, I'm more here, I'm here more than I'm at home, no doubt about it. And I, most of my time at home is actually sleeping. Sean was coaching them this weekend for the tournament, the kids had no, <laughs> that's crazy. Dude, I canceled that last hockey break, so the problem is no one wants to get into hockey, not, not you, Mike, no casual people want to get in hockey unless it's 23 24 and upper deck is making hockey so freaking hard to get like the upper deck i still have to like we're an upper deck store i still have to order through a distributor the distributors are going to distribute you know what i mean there's too much hype on bedard i got five boxes of game used hockey at like 200 over 200 dollars after you factor in all the fees and that's all I'm allowed to buy in an entire week. So what am I supposed to do with that? It's going to sell in my store faster than I can even tell people it's here. Adam Frazier. But I don't know. I don't know what to do because I can't get case. Like I should be. I want to do cases of hockey. I don't want to do these five and six and seven box mixers. Oh! uh mike i can do it so here's the i am not allowed to sell boxes on my website but you can call the store dude like you the rules are so goofy because you're literally allowed to skirt the rules alex spees for the rangers we hit him in the last case chris bailey there you go sir so you could call the store or mess you have to message me i can't discuss it here i can't post it on the website but we can we could still make it happen. I just cannot advertise single box prices on the website or the internet. I can advertise break prices because those don't give you box prices. Even though you could add up all the teams and divide it by the number of boxes and figure it out. Even though you could still figure it out, you're not allowed to do it. Their house, their rules, their product. Let's go Hawks. Uh, black and white variation, another one. 
So even though, and then on top of it, you can literally just Google whatever David Adams or Steel City or whatever is selling for, and the distributors do the same damn thing, and then they charge you basically. The what they charge you makes you charge at minimum what the big retailers are charging, if not more, to even make it worth the risk of putting your money out there to stock a product and put it on the shelf. So it kind of stinks. And I don't have, like, endless hockey allocations. We're a new store. So by the time we get good and set in with the hockey allocations, we're going to lose half of our casual hockey audience anyhow. So we'll see. We'll, we'll keep grinding away at it. I love hockey. I have wagers on every sing all three of the games tonight. Like, I, I'm in. I'm into hockey. Like, I, I watch it. I dig it. I enjoy it. It's a great sport. I personally prefer it over basketball. Like, oh no. The guy said he hates basketball. I didn't say that. Didn't say that. Just said, I like nonstop action. What were you saying? You can't upper deck. Anything upper deck within the first uh, six months of release is their rules. So if it's more than six months old, I guess I could put it on the website. But after, uh, within the first six months, there's like a gigantic embargo, basically. It's to protect hobby shops. I do get it. Uh, Series 2 Hockey was the most successful, from a financial standpoint, release we've had at the store yet. But we also haven't had like a, a direct Bowman release either, so we'll see. But Series 2, we sold out of four hobby cases, three blaster cases, and three tin cases in like a week. If that, I mean, it, and we had limits on everything. Like, there was quantity limits on all of it. So, that was, that, that sold itself. We had people finding the store that had never heard of us before, just looking for the product, things like that. But outside of that, what I will say, we have 25 other hockey products on our shelf. Nobody cares. No one. And it sucks because hockey's awesome. Like, I have more stature and stuff that we pulled the Ovechkin auto and things like that from. Nobody cared. Actually, we did sell one stature after that. But it was to the guy who hit the Ovechkin auto. Higashioka to 575. So, they got a bunch of rules. Folks around here just want Bedard. But then, with that, like, they'll pay way too much money. You know, I'm like, look at what Series 2 costs from last year. Sitting over there on the shelf. No, 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 we want this one. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Ozzy Albies. Vaughn Grissom, Braxton Garrett. Michael Rucker. Gunnar Henderson at the cup. What's uh what's Jackson Holiday done? Anybody know? They're playing. Lots of games going on right now. The Orioles have seven runs. What's that about? 7-5, Cutter Crawford got lit up, huh? Oh, he didn't. He just, the bullpen got lit up. Oh, boy. Jackson Holiday is 0 for 4, but he has an RBI. There you go. He got an RBI before his first hit. Cassis. Riley Green. Yavaldi. And we are down to our very last box tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you guys. Shout out to Chris for filling this up. Because really, without Chris, uh, we don't we do not do this break tonight. So, yeah, I'm staying late. Yeah, I'm running my mouth that I had to stay late. But I don't mind. So it keeps us moving forward. I love moving forward. I hope we have red ink in this last one. We get a Jim Palmer. Look at that leg kick. Jim Palmer. Uh, what else do we have going on? Blackhawks are getting destroyed. Oh my gosh. We're 30 minutes into the game. They got four goals. What happened? Mrazic? Mrazic's been on fire lately. I thought they had a chance just because Mrazic's been so good lately. Holy, they scored them all in like the first four minutes. Five, they scored them all in five minutes. They scored four goals in five minutes. How does that happen? How is that even possible? 
They they pulled Morazic to put Solder Bloom in. That's outrageous. Solder Bloom is the worst goalie ever. Israel, are you not listening to me, sir? I'm not trying to be rude. There's no late night inventory. There's no staying over. There's when this box is done and open, I am going home. I don't I'm, I'm trying to be clear about that there's no personal breaks personal breaks will be Saturday other than that we do the group breaks and the group breaks break when they fill I have nothing to offer you on a personal rip level this evening my man I appreciate you I just I think there's a communication breakdown somewhere happening right now Oilers up on Vegas, one nothing. I know you guys would probably rather talk about basketball scores, but I haven't looked at my phone since we started to get the Blackhawks season is over text. <laughs> I mean, it's been over, but I'm going to watch till the end. Got another couple games left. I didn't get any of the, so with the upper deck stuff. A, A, here's a, I don't know if this is a hot take or not. I hate golf. Let's just, who, who, who cares? Like, I'll go hit a golf ball, but who cares? Like, who wants to watch that? If you're going to sit on a TV and watch people golf, get off your ass and go work on your golf game. Go putt in your backyard or get a pitching wedge at the go do something but to just sit there and watch them and go oh they're good at golf and you like watch i would assume you watch golf because you play golf uh i know the masters is like casual time for golf but i just do not care one bit about golf whatsoever i don't want to watch a guy hit a ball that's not moving and it's really hard to hit the ball i'm not saying i'm not saying golf's easy so don't get misconstrued but i'm not interested at all i would rather watch paint dry or like hand wash a car or something than than watch the masters or golf or anything like that but with that being said, Upper Deck Golf did come out recently, but again, with us being new, we didn't get any blah, blah, blah. I digress. Verdugo, Rooker, Kepler, Rasmussen, last box of the break. I really do appreciate you guys once again. I did tell you that. Uh, Steve, you heard wrong, friend. You heard wrong. Everyone's heard wrong on that. Uh, Corbin Carroll, Nick Allen, Jeremy Pena, Adley Rutschman with a base chrome to nine ninety nine. Alyssa says good night, potty mouth. Well, Alyssa, you have a great night. I'm not going to swear on camera this evening. I'll explain to your father later. Chris, if you want to know why, text me. <laughs> but I, I don't think I, I should. Let's put it that way. I don't think I should. Alyssa, keep, keep crushing it in school. Keep doing all that good stuff you're doing. Making a lot of people proud out there, kiddo. Joey Weimer. And it's no red auto. Hopefully, maybe there's maybe they snuck one in. Manny Machado for the Padres. With a bat relic. But yeah, text me now or I'll forget to tell you what's going on. But I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's up. Corey Lee, Stratton, Rutschman, Scherzer, Acuna. What are we going to have flipped over? Mauricio Andre Dubon for the Astros. I love that they put the full names on. I love it. What else do we have here? Kirstad. Rookie cards, like I said. When's he coming up? When's he coming up? That dude had 10 RBIs in one game. <laughs> what a game. Uh, Jonah Heim. I mean, that's outrageous. Tyler Rogers for the Giants with a white border. Gonzalez, Kyron, Paris.
Zach Neto, Desclafani, Luke Weaver for the Yankees. Nimmo, Josh Young, Sawinski, Saya, Bayo, Meadows, Ammoniac with a uh, low number. Hey, Steve, are you local to me? I don't know why I think that. So, excuse me if I'm wrong. You're not. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know why at all I thought you were local to me. So, never mind that. I just wanted to make sure we didn't ship your cards if you wanted me to not ship them. So, I apologize. Forget I said anything. Alex Lang, the white parallel. You are nowhere near me. Kimbrel, Gonsolin, Mead, Alonzo, Benintendi, Pete Crow, Sonny, Douglas Gray, Alec Thomas, and Lopez. Last little bit here. And then once again, guys, thanks for filling this thing up. Hopefully you had a good time. We will post a new case in the morning sometime before 11 a.m. Before the store opens. And that will conclude matters. We will do a recap, of course. I think we got one more auto than the case this afternoon, but we're still chasing red ink. Two cases in, no red ink. I want some red ink. You guys want some red ink. We do have a ton of uh, short prints and chromes to sleeve up and get taken care of. We got a ton of base over here to sort and get sorted. Packed up and on their way to you. But as far as the break goes this evening, thank you guys a bunch, of course. And if you're looking for more fun, Sterling and Chrome update are getting close. I'll figure out how we can wrap those up, hopefully in the next day or two. Uh, and more Heritage tomorrow. We've got Chrome Black next week. Busy weekend ahead. Mike, you're talking hockey. you got my hockey juices flowing. I need some time to price out some hockey. So I would like to do some hockey, too. Uh, especially with the playoffs coming up. Uh, as far as the break goes tonight, let me get focused just for this much. I need to focus for this long. Athletics, Black Refractor, Zach Geloff. That's a really nice rookie card. Jordan Wicks for the Cubs with an on-card autograph. Pete Crow to nine ninety nine. Gavin Williams. Corbin Carroll for the Diamondbacks. Manny Machado. Adley Rutschman to nine ninety nine. Higashioka to five seventy five. Ahmed Rosario, Black and White Variation. Alex Spees on-card auto for the Rangers. Jose Tana. White border rookie for the Guardians. Kershaw with a napkin relic. Stanton, 400th home run, black parallel. We can only assume there's still a print run of 50. There's no official word. Evan Carter to 999. Dominguez with the purple hot box. Spees, white border rookie. Aloy relic. Candelario to 999. Verlander with the damaged uh, clubhouse collection relic. Let me know if you need help with that. Owen White to 375. Jose Tana for the Guardians. Uh, Salvador Perez. The game used relic for the Royals. Black and White. Arias for the Guardians. Coco Montez. White border rookie. Blake Snell. Pinstripe. Josh Lowe. I'm sorry. Josh Lau. That's Josh Lau. That's not Nathaniel Lowe. Lawrence Butler. White border. Kyle Tucker to 575. And Spencer Horwitz. White border. Thanks again, everybody. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evenings, and I will see you guys all when the next break is full. Of course he is, Henry. He's the fall guy. That's why the story changed, so the interpreter could be the fall guy to keep the Otani clean, because he's got all that deferred money and all that time to go. Henry, I love you.